much you want for it? Well, I thought it might be worth 10,000. I have a very good friend that will know everything about it. She will probably be really good for the signature. She'll know if it's first edition, yeah. which printing and everything else like that. Yeah. So just hang out for a few minutes. I will get her down here and have her take a look at it. Okay? The kid with the stick. <laughs> oh. Doppelganger. You told me you wanted me to look at a signed copy, so I thought I have a signed copy for purposes of actually comparing the signature, the best thing to do is to compare it with one that is actually known to be correct. This young man bought this um, 18, 19 years ago? Yes. In 1999, when it had already started getting the momentum for which it's famous, they published uh, deluxe editions of the works. And there are a few things that make these deluxe. A lot of this gilt, you know, this is actual gold. And then you can see that the text block edges here are also gilt. These are all indications of a typical deluxe production. Okay. But the rolling is infamous for having many, many, many forgeries. Um, you can see it has the general shape but first of all, some of these lines have been double crossed, right? So here you can see this has gone over more than once. There's some shakiness right here. And that's important because it's very typical um, with forgeries for signatures to be slightly smaller or more squished. So not a real signature. I'm sorry to say, I don't think that this is a real signature. What's the book worth? This book, Unsigned, isn't a very expensive book, um, but moreover, in my opinion, this is actually not even worth what it would be if it were unsigned, because this, in my opinion, should be taken off the market. So as far as I'm concerned, the value on this is zero. Okay. All right. Um, it's not real, so it's not for me. But thanks for bringing it in. No, all right.